Can I get a year? Hello, Finesse Gang. In this video, we're getting into a product review of this anti-theft candle back, a relatively new brand to hit the market. This is a Rave Runner by Gen Z Outdoor. I've been using it since Electric Forest and that big dub, and now I'm gonna get into a review, an honest review, how I've thought about this bag, how I've used it, how I feel about it, what I recommend it, and things of that nature. So make sure you keep it locked and enjoy the video. Run the intro, let's get it. I'm the festival finesse. Damn, that backpack is fire. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it's called a Rave Runner. Nice. I gotta do a review about this backpack. You guys are gonna hear about this backpack because it's pretty cool. It's it's very, pretty cool. very unique. It's a very unique design. I like the front pockets though. Exactly, the front pockets. I mean, I can't mosh with this, but like... I can. Finesse gang, what's good? Internet, if you don't know me, hello. I'm the Festival Finesser. This is my channel. I channel that vibes about music festivals and live music going experiences with a focus and concentration on dubstep and rhythm. If you're not following me at a festival day by day, you're probably following me at a show in New York City for the night. And if you're not following me at a show or festival, you're sitting with me here at this desk, getting life hacks, trick tips, festival reviews, lineup reviews, EDM news, controversial debates, any words of advice that I can give to you guys to make sure you can have the best festival going experience possible. And one of the ways I can do that is by recommending a Rave Runner because this bag is so sick. And honestly, like I've been, like I said, I've been using it at Electric Forest. They said, hey, we, we had this new product. We're, we're going to give it to you if you tell us about it. You know, we want an honest review and someone to test it. You know, I was, I was our test them you know i was trying it out for them you have to know how to use the bag it's a unique bag and it's not a backpack you can just put on and go and that, that was my problem that's why i'm making this video to let you guys know how to actually use it and what to expect and what to know so as you can see it looks like a regular candle bag you know it's got the custom front pocket which is sick this is interchangeable and it just zips off so i guess we're gonna get into the, the i guess we're gonna get into from the outside first so that zips off this is interchangeable i'm pretty sure you can just throw it in the wash as you can see mine's pretty dirty and then we have our first pocket in here this is one of the most secure pockets and the most this is probably the most like basic pocket on the whole bag i'm gonna do a video i think how i pack this bag because like i said it's a unique bag there's, there's a lot of things you can do with it and i think that i have kind of mastered the bag for myself and uh, you guys can figure out your own little system and method to put the bag to use with. While we have it open, let's talk about the hydration part. So there is a bladder in here for, you know, for drinking, which is nice. You don't have to get your wet on long lines. You get on line once, you get your water, then you're good. I'm pretty sure it holds two liters. And um, you have to be careful about filling it and make sure you don't fill it all the way because it does overflow. And if it overflows, it's just all getting stuck in this pocket. So at Electric, at, uh, electric Forest, the first time I filled it, I wasn't really paying attention. I overfilled it to the top and my wallet that was in here was super soaked. And that's when I realized, all right, this pocket is kind of dangerous. Um, because if you do overflow it, like me, your bag gets all wet in this pocket, you know, my wallet was soaked and nothing was damaged, but I was like, all right, I have electronics in here. I can't be putting my GoPro batteries and stuff like that in this pocket. The main point I want to make with the bladder is just don't overfill it because if you do, you will spill and get your bag all wet. And that's what I did my first time. There is a trick to it. You have to be kind of hold the bag upright. Don't let the bladder inside get scrunched up because the water is going to go in faster than it can fill the bag and it's going to overflow. So you want to make sure the bag is nice and open, nice flow for water to get all the way to the bottom and kind of hold it out. And then you're gonna kind of grip it by this cup. You know, there's like a little circle here. You're gonna grip, grip it there, hold it up, and then you're gonna screw it on when it's not ripped off like I did to mine. That's really all the front has to offer is this pocket right here for like hoodies and stuff like that, or like a flag where I put mine. And then the front, uh, you know, hydration pocket, the bladder. On the back is where the party is. So this is, again, it bugged me out because I was like, what the heck, this bag has no pockets. This bag is this bag is terrible. It has no pockets. And then I was like, oh, okay, the pockets are on the back. So right here you have a pocket for, this is where they recommend to put your wallet. It's big enough to put a wallet. I was actually putting GoPro batteries and stuff like that and business cards because this is actually the most accessible pocket for you. You just reach behind your back and unzip, reach in, pull out, zip again. Um, and then like I said, this bag is cool because it doesn't require you to take it off to get in and out of it. Everything you need is right at your shoulders in front of you. So... You have this, the pocket right here for your main stuff, and then you have the shoulder pocket. This is probably my favorite part of the whole entire bag. It's a very unique design. I like and the front pockets though. Exactly, the front pockets. Let's look at this. I have my GoPro in here. I can walk around hands-free, do time lapses, just whatever, take pictures. Um, and then I, you can fit a whole entire phone in this pocket. So now I have my phone on my shoulder. No one's gonna take it. I don't have to go in and out of my pocket to reach for it. I don't have to worry about it falling out of my pocket in the mosh pit. 
and I can see what time it is. Like I feel if anybody reaches me. So this is key having your phone here. As you can see, I attach a lighter and things like that. So this really prevents you from going in and out of the bag and taking and having to like put it down and just take a knee. So this bag, is, it's it keeps, it's good for people, people that are on the go like me. So yes, we have your chest pockets right here. There's also a zipper pocket right here, which I'm pretty sure is for the LED power. I got these lights for my backpack that I gotta get. Look at my backpack, yo, where'd it go? Too fire. This backpack has like little like little slots to wire like LEDs, which it comes with. I you know I, I got this bag at Electric Forest at a vendor booth, and I was not trying to set up the lights and the batteries and the, there's a little disco ball that goes in the bottom here to light up. I was not about all that. I, I'd rather use this bag for functionality than for for fun and for fashion. You know this is this is a functional this utility bag for me. This this is a good pocket for like money, um really small things, chapstick. Um, maybe like an iPhone charger, like a, like a cord. I put GoPro batteries. These are where I put my dead GoPro batteries in this pocket because it is a really small pocket, but it's a nice small little just on the shoulder pocket. We have this. We have straps on the front, and this is why I talk. I have another video actually where I talk about what to look for buying a festival bag, and you definitely need a festival bag that straps across the front to keep it secure because with water in your bag, you don't want it bouncing up and down. You want it to be secure on you, and I would recommend even putting one down here if you could get like a like a like a waist strap. That's a very good idea, Ryan. If you're watching, that's a good that would be a good enhancement for the Ray Running 2.0. And then so opening up the bag, this again, I was like, oh my god, there's this is all it is. This is all it is. Just this one pocket. It's made for the bladder. This is this is stupid. You know why would I have this here? It's gonna every, everything is gonna get all wet and it's gonna get all scrunched up. But no, that's not the. That's just that's just the bladder pocket. There is another pocket built in that I just velcroed. So as you can see, you velcro this to the bag, and now your bladder is secure. And now, if you want to access your phone or well, your phone you don't even have to access your phone because your phone is, should be strapped on your shoulder that's the best place to put your phone but like i don't know if you have like a portable charger or something like that you know your wallet if, and you, and you have another pocket right here so this is like that top pocket on most you know backpacks it's just a little sunglasses pocket whatever and you can actually fit a lot of stuff in here surprisingly i did not take advantage of this pocket until like the second or third day of electric forest i did not realize how valuable this pocket was this is honestly the biggest pocket on the whole bag that zips up and then it also has pockets on the side. Um, I have a portable charger here. I've been putting lighters here, business cards, stickers. Overall, like I said, you have to learn this bag. This is not a bag that you can just go to a festival with. And like that's what I did. I just went to the festival with it, not knowing how to use it. And I was like, this bag sucks, T straight up. And then after I figured out how to use it, you know, you know, I was like, all right, let, let me make sure I don't fill up the water all the way to the top. And just when I, that was that was my own because it was the water. Right? My bag was all wet the first day and it was leaking, and I was like, "Oh, this bag is not it's not for me." But once I figured out how to use it, this once I figured out this this putting the GoPro here, genius, bro. And then another thing that I like about it, they thought about this the strap, the 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 hose for the bladder. So typically, most Camelbacks they don't really have a place to put the hose, and if you're in the mosh pit and it's just bouncing all around and people are getting hit with it and water is flying all out, this cap first of all is a one, so. This is just a quality bladder in Camelback, you know, as far as like the drinking part goes. And then you can tuck the strap like up here, tuck it across here. There's a bunch of ways to secure this thing. There's a video. I didn't actually figure out how to do it because I had my own method. I put the carabiner, little carabiner on the hose, and then I just clip the hose to my bag one time. And now I can still reach and grab it, but it's not. All I have to do is just pull the carabiner down and now it's secure. You know, it's not going to go anywhere. So yeah, this is me fully strapped. I have mad pictures, mad videos of me putting this bag in action from Big Dub, Electric Forest. And uh, I really like this bag. It's functional, it's secure. The bag, it's like slash proof. No one can even like rip into it. And I think that wraps up what, everything that I have to say about the Rave Runner. I did, I was very skeptical about it at first, but after I figured out how to use it, and uh, you know, there are videos on how to use it and set up guys. And like I said, I'm not, I'm not doing the whole lights thing. I don't need all that. So I'm cool just, you know, with the, the standard backpack. And uh, this is actually customizable, so you guys can custom make these and interchange them if you wanted to. But um, it is a little difficult to get on, so just be careful, and that's why I haven't taken it off. Um, is there anything else I'm missing? I don't think so, man. I think I covered everything on the bag. So major shout-out to Ryan at Gen Z for, for blessing me with this bag and letting me try it out and being a test dummy. And, uh, you know, we've been talking back and forth on how to make it better, and I want to... 
do a, a video how I pack this bag because, like I said, there's a, you can get creative with this bag, and it's it's a functional bag. It's a utility bag, and you can do a lot of things with it. And I'm really hyped that even with all my stuff in here right now, I still have extra pockets to put stuff. So at a festival, you just you can kind of come more prepared and know that everything is in your bag. And what's also cool about this bag is it's not a backpack with big pockets. It just has a lot of small pockets, so you really can't carry all your friend's shit. I hate doing that. Being the guy with the backpack and everybody, oh, can you hold my hoodie? Can you hold this? Can you hold that? Nah, bro, I only got room for me in here. This is a small bag. It doesn't have pockets. It's, just, it's a water sack. You know what I'm saying? At the first day of forest, I was like, oh, this is a water sack. This is not a good backpack. Once you realize that you can fit a full water bottle in this side pocket, you're like, holy shit, these pockets are a lot bigger than they look. And then I really started flexing with this bag, and now I'm super hyped to be a part of the Rave Runner fan. People come up to me, oh, you got a Rave Runner, so, you know, it's pretty dope. And uh, so I'll be putting a link to this, to their website where to get these in the description. I'll be putting a link to the setup guide in the description, and I'll be putting a link to how I pack this bag in the description as well once I film that. So that was all I have for you guys today. I hope to see you guys rocking some Rave Runners, and I hope you find this bag as functional and helpful as I do. And uh, I will see you guys at Moonrise. Till then, I'm the Festival Finesser. Peace. Yo.